Oh, it's so cute. This is really cute. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Rare Simi capsule. <gasps> What's in your capsule? <gasps> oh, hey, my little picturinis. Welcome back to a new video. Welcome actually to the first time I'm playing my main save file with Snowy Escape installed. I thought it came out tomorrow, but it actually comes out today. So I've missed my embargo by one day. Oops. And a big thank you to EA for giving me the pack as part of the Game Changers Network. However, I am hyped because we're going to be bringing this little family of Rex on a holiday. And orders to God, they need it. They've... You're sat on the baby, Chris. You're sat on... You're sat on the baby. What... What is going on? Wait, the... That baby looks different to last time. I'm not sure if that's the same baby. But yeah, I was planning on bringing them on a snowy holiday. We aged up the girls specifically ready for this. And then this rude new baby has come along for the crack. It is Jasper. <laughs> Jasper Lannister. He just came out of nowhere to come and ruin my day. Ruin my chance of doing a little snowy escape holiday. Honest to God, I don't even have enough money. So I'm going to have to make him work for a day anyway. I just wasted some money instead of repairing as well didn't I? Look at her face. This is how I feel about this family right now. Jason, come over and hang out and sort us out. God, honest to God, we need you more than ever right now, Jason. So yeah, they've kind of ruined everything for me. However, I am still gonna go on a little snowy escape for myself, okay? That is still gonna happen. <gasps> I forgot I have roses that I can be... I can clone the roses. I can clone the roses. I did not realize I could do this. Okay, harvest all of the roses, please. I can become a rose seller. It is the exact perfect, you know, way to bring up the rose children is to have a rose selling business. Bish, bash, bosh. We sorted this out. We have sorted all of this out. No one can reach the baby. Okay, great. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. Scarlet just sent the baby to sleep. Scarlet, you absolute queen. What? But yeah, one way or another, I am going to be sending them on a snowy escape today. Where are the roses you just harvested? Oh, here they are. I'm gonna plant some more as well so we can try and make a little bit more money. What I think I will just do is age up Jasper so that- Why can no one reach this child? I'm just gonna put him on the bed like that. He can just be on our bed. I think that's fine. Wait, no, then they will be able to sleep on it. Also, th the children have no beds. Oh my gosh. Like, this is the most chaotic playthrough by a freaking country mouth. It started off so good and so calm. I honestly thought we had it together so much. And since then, it's just kind of become a wreck. Okay, I feel bad, but I'm gonna just sell a bunch of the kids' toys. One in order to pay for the holiday. This feels so not the cloning machine. No, not that. This feels so bad, but also I need a crib for the other child, the unplanned child. I feel bad. I feel like I'm definitely throwing a lot of shade Jasper's way, but he has definitely caused some serious ruckus with my plans. Let's not even lie to ourselves here. I'm gonna get him this bassinet that looks kind of scary. Also, why is my child change race? When did that happen? Why did that happen? I am confused.com. But it's fine. Whatever. What I'm thinking is, I'm sure there's stuff for toddlers to do on a holiday. So once we come back from work tomorrow, we're going to book some time off. I'm going to have a bunch of money from working. And Jason's here to start my child. Jason, I freaking love you. And I am going to be using that money. One will age up, Jasper. And then we're going to go on a snowy escape because God help me, I deserve it. I deserve this. We deserve this. It's going to happen. No one will stop me from having the snowy escape. Wait a minute, Jason. Jason, you seem awfully keen on Jasper. Are you and your husband looking to adopt? Are you looking to adopt? You have technically already adopted your own sister, so maybe not. I also said I was going to help you out with that, but then my own life became a mess. So, you know, stop doing that polo! The good news is I now have two little kids who technically can start doing some chores. Ah, uh, and Minzy has lost a celebrity level. <gasps> that means she's also lost all of her annoying quirks though. You've got to, you've got to like, honest to God, take the wins where you can in this family. And sorry to come around unannounced, but I couldn't wait any longer to see the baby. Do you need any help? You just gave birth. You should be resting. Yes, come round. Yes, come round and help, please. Wait, is she pregnant too? Are we going to be baby buddies? This is actually Christopher's friend. No wonder she wants to come around and meet the baby. This is going to be your reality soon. Soon you are gonna be suffering as well. We'll be suffering together. I know I shouldn't think of it that way, but honest to God, that is the way I think of it, okay? <gasps> and she's come around and started cleaning for us. You know what, Christina? You are on your way to a CC makeover. I'm just putting it out there. Go easy. Don't knock my child off out of its crib. My children are actually dehydrated and also forgotten birthday. Oh yeah, because I didn't give you a cake. Fair enough. Also, Scala is actually sick from poor hygiene. That is how neglected Scala is. She's actually sick from poor hygiene, which ain't great. Let's face it, it ain't great. Okay, I can't get the kids to use the top bunk. Does anybody else have this issue? I just can't get them to use it. They won't use the top bunk. They're all just like, 
right, so I downloaded another one to give a go. Let's see how this one goes. If you go and try again, I swear to God, I swear to God, child, of all the problems I've got right now, I've got 99 problems. A bunk bed does not need to be one of them. Okay, you have aged into an old woman, but you're in your bunk bed and that is all I care about. I'm happy. We're done. This is great. Well done. Well done, children. Well done. You're down here being sad about your birthday still. Babes, do you not think I've got enough on my plate? I can't be thinking about cake now. Cake? I can't. I just can't, okay? Both parents have just run. They're just running. They're just like, get me away from this house. Goodbye. Oh my... This challenge started off so easy. And look what has happened. Look what has become of me. It's not good. They're hyped about the baby there. Look at this. No moment in a Sims life is more joyous. Does this look joyous to you? Is this what joyous looks like, Minzy? Because it ain't joyous to me, okay? Ooh, new food. Onigiri. Yes, let's get people hyped for Japan with some onigiri, please. Oh my gosh, look at the beautiful new food. Oh, excellent quality as well. Look how tasty that looks. I need to get some HD textures for you. But still, mega yummy looking. Okay, I haven't forgotten that she needs to keep getting- I'm, Is this still a challenge, believe it or not? So I am keep trying to get her up to this level 7 of mischief. So any downtime I get at all, I immediately start with this whole mischief vibes. But it's the girl's first day at school. It's our final day at work before we book a vacation. Why are you up in the night? The children are miserable. They do kind of low-key hate life. <gasps> One of them's got the stumpy flu. We're not going to be able to get into Japan if you're showing flu-like symptoms at the border. So please cure yourself. Three days? Days. No, medicine, medicine, medicine. You go to hospital. I don't care what you do. We need to go on holiday. So you are going to have to. Body care, sickness medication. Let's try that first. Let's see if this works. She's apparently got a vaccine. Contagious. She's going to be contagious for the next two days. <laughs> Please, 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 please don't bring flu-like symptoms into Japan. That would be really bad. So the other new thing that Snowy Escape has brought, I already showed you guys this a little bit when we did our little quick one through, is this lifestyle thing. But obviously you gain these by doing stuff. So I'm gonna just leave them to keep living their lives and see which natural lifestyles they kind of gravitate towards. Also with the mods I've got, I think it's Slice of Life, the kids are given personalities. Scarlet has been given ISTP, which is the craftsman. Bold and practical experiments as masters of all tools. Rosie has been given ISTJ, the inspector. Practical and fact-minded individuals. Honestly, the, the introvert thing doesn't work that well. For the politician thing, the next generation of this challenge needs to go into. However, I'm kind of intrigued that they're both slightly different. They're so similar. The only thing that they've got different is the final letter. Let me know which one of you guys think will be more set up to the next part of this challenge. And look, she's just pranking her kids. She's just sat there constantly pranking them while they're trying to do the homework. But this is good because it actually increases her mischief. So I'm fine with this. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And oh my gosh, look, she's feeding the baby behind her back. What kind of advanced parenting technique is this? How are you breastfeeding from here? I don't understand. I don't understand how that is occurring, but okay. Parenting level 11 there. Okay, so the little kids are off on the first day of school. Oh, I can do so much more stuff with them. Do you know what mod this is? Maybe slice of life? But this is cool. Why don't you guys try and make some friendies, okay? The beautiful sound of the baby screaming reaching is echoing through the house right now but it's fine because we're going to work in 20 minutes and i'm gonna join her just to get away from this house honest to god scarlet spent most of recess running around trying to kiss some of the other students she didn't catch anybody but they were trying to run away okay so let me show you guys something real quick the next part of the not so berry challenge is the rose generation and they have to have this romantic trait and become a serial romantic they also have to complete the serial romantic aspiration and also leave some somebody at the altar. The fact that Scarlet is already showing a little bit of, uh, you know, she's already kind of going in the direction of the romantic slash serial romantic future sim makes me feel like already Scarlet is starting to lean in a little bit more towards our future gen, but we shall see. Let me know what you guys think. I am going to say, you know, it's just kids being kids. And we're going to join. It's the first time we've joined her in work in so long. I'm excited. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Alert, aliens have infiltrated the headquarters and are trying to pass themselves off as human. Very suspicious. Be sure look to look out for them and any sabotaged equipment. Hug a Taurus. Well, we know what the Taurus are, don't we? The aliens. We kind of low-key thought this was going to happen. I mean, which ones are the Taurus, though? Okay, there's a bunch of new people in here. Well, Maria's not an alien. You, however, with the book. 
Hmm. Okay, I can now do this new respectful introduction, which is a little bow that comes with snowy living. However, it feels like the right kind of one to do around an alien. Let's not lie. Because I don't want to touch them, even though I need to hug them. I'm going to theorize about aliens with him to see if it makes him talk about aliens. Oh, he's against them. Hmm. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure you are one. And look, it's almost Jess's birthday. Yes! Okay, so our day has included a lot of yelling and telling aliens to go away. They never revealed themselves as aliens, which is a little bit big sad, but I'm hoping we're going to get a promotion day today so we can spend the money on the holiday. Maybe it can even be a little bit of a promotion celebration break. I'm excited to put them all dressed up in their little, little cozy snow snow outfits. <gasps> Yes, we've been promoted to a laboratory leader. We make $40 an hour. We got a big bonus, a hygiene decontamination pod. Honest to God, my children low-key kind of need that because they all stink. And we can now get ready for our snowy escape. Wait, we have bills? Oh, that's eating into the VK money. Wait, don't pay them. We can worry about them when we get back. Cancel it. Maria, unless your home is in Japan, no, I don't want to go. Oh, I can't do it because I have a baby. I think that's what it is. Okay, Kristoff. I know I annoy you with my very green house. And also, the kids probably annoy you with their very red house. Yeah, you're gonna have to age up this child. Wait, where did it go? Where did it go? B we're aging up Jasper into a toddler so that we can bring him on holiday. You don't look that impressed. Life has been hard since this kid. But there we go. Okay, Jasper has aged up. He's got the red hair. He does have the red hair. He also has the gray brows and the braided hair and no red clothes on. Okay, Jasper has aged up. I'm kind of like, should I keep giving him the same stuff as the girls? Because really, the next person in this challenge, it don't have to be a girl. Maybe it's Jasper all along. You guys are kind of keen on the idea of Scarlet being the next kid. I, I keep looking in the comments, the next uh, legacy person. I keep checking. You guys are pretty keen on Scarlet, but let me just introduce you to a new concept. Let us just go ahead and check out the Jasper Runemeister. This is Jasper. Let's bang some CC on you, friend. Okay, so here is how little Jasper Rooney looks. Very, very cute. I'll keep him in the potentials. I'll dress him in red. However, are you guys ready for some cute snowy looks? Because that's where we're going next. Into cold weather. It has to be. It has has to be the cute starfish look. It just does. It's new and I have to. I have to do it. <gasps> look at the little boots. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. I'll also give him these little J's. These are new too. So cute. Oh, this one's red. Let's go for this one. <gasps> and the shoes, the little slips. <gasps> you look so freaking cute. Look at you. Should I give you pink to match the top? Oh my gosh. Well, aren't you just adorable? Little Jasper. Okay, I still still low-key not happy he exists, but I'm he's growing on me. Okay, I will allow that to be said. Okay, so I'm gonna give everyone formal wear specifically for this playthrough as well. For when we're in Japan. Just because look how beautiful they are. So pretty. And I'll put her hair down for it as well. So that's little roses. And then for her little snowy escape wear. <gasps> So cute. Okay, I'm getting this vibes from you. It's a lot with the hair, but you can pull it off, babes. And no, you can. And with the little red boots. Cute. And then Scarlet. So her sister's got this one. I'm kind of vibing. I like this one. Let's go for this one. And then I'm also going to do the opposite for her. Instead of having her hair down, I'm going to tie her hair up for her formal outfit. And then for her snow snow outfit. I kind of thought this one for you. I thought that would look cute with the booties. I'm going to give her these ones. Okay. Wait, wait, no, these ones. Okay, so we've got little cute snow outfits on for them. I'm going to change out your heart. <gasps> I'm going to do an alternate outfit with a helmet if I send them on, like, skiing or snowboarding. Safety first, okay? However, we will do... Watch this, watch this. Alternate outfit with helmet. Because I want to look after them, you know? <gasps> it's messing with your hair quite badly. Okay, not sure why it's doing that. Oh, <gasps> it messes with all hair. No way. The hairs don't work with the helmets. Okay, I'll do it where it's like to hide up like that. And same for you. You need a little snow outfit too. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like... I know it's still buggy, but what else can I do? Okay, on to us, the grown-ups. So, for Minzy. I love this. I do love this outfit, so I'll do it as an extra outfit, okay? I don't think these boots are gonna do you all that good. I love the boots. I do love them. But in the snow and ice, I'm not sure how wise it is. So, let's have a look. They're all cute, but I really like this new outfit. However, there's no mint option. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. None of them be looking that minty fresh. Chris is like, oh my gosh, she's finally gonna dress in something non-mint. I'm so hyped. We found a mint jacket. We're all good. Chris is like, 
No! I wanted non-mint for once. How could you do this to me? <gasps> this outfit does not mess. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, what an absolutely iconic queen. Okay, you'd be looking beautifully iconic right now. And you've got your gogs on. You don't have a helmet, but I don't want your hair to do that thing. So we fine. And then Kristoff. Okay, so we can either go for this vibes here, or we can go for these vibes, or we can go for these vibes. Now, I think this one's probably the cutest. I'm gonna give him a little red one, because of course he was wearing red when we first met him. So it just makes sense. I'm gonna give him one of these as well. However, I wanna change Chris's hair up. I wanna try something new with his hair. Problem is, I didn't actually download any male hairs recently. I'm gonna cut his hair shorter. I think that looks cute. <gasps> I forgot about formal, okay. <gasps> Okay, okay, okay. Which one should we give him? That will be the red option. <gasps> but wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is a whole serve right there. Yeah, it's got to be that. That looks so cute. I love that. <gasps> Yes, getting involved with the culture you're visiting. I love that. When we went to Korea, a lot of the places, a lot of like the temples and the castles and all that, not castles, palaces, they would offer discount or free entry if you dressed in a humbuck. Humbuck, that was it. A lot of people rent them and I wanted to rent, rent one and go to the palace and take a picture in it. But I was worried that a lot of you guys might be like, oh, it's offensive to wear the humbuck. It's like, it's not your own culture's dress. You can't dress like that. Like it's offensive to their culture. They see it completely completely the other way. They see it as like being interested and respectful and like like you like Korean culture enough to go and rent a handbook and take a picture and go into the palaces. Like they love that and they actually offer discount to any tourist that did it. So it's actually perceived very differently to how we perceive stuff in the West. So yeah, I feel like them going, my little fam's here, going to Japan and dressing in like Japanese robes is not them appropriating culture. It is them just going over and getting involved in the culture and dressing accordingly. So there we go. Okay, and then should I do something new with her hair. What about if I tie it up like this? Okay, everybody's got cute little rig outs. Wait, you need a little formal outfit. Did they? Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. Look at this child. Wow. That is just so cute. He's so adorable. Don't get attached, Claire. Don't get attached. She's not meant to be here. Okay? Don't get attached. I know what you're doing. I can see it. I can see it. Okay, hopefully now I can travel. Go on vacation. I couldn't find it on the phone. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I couldn't find it on the phone. So we're doing it on the PC instead. Mount Komorebi for snow sports and onsens and mountain climbing excursions. Yeah! Okay, so we want to go to one of the residential lots. There's one here in Wakaba. However, I remember there not being very much to do there. This was like the lamest neighborhood. Then also there is no residential lots to stay in in Sembamachi, which was very vibey and very old school. There was a lot to do there, but there's nowhere to stay. So we're going to stay at the top of the mountain in Yuki Matsu, the true beauty of the countryside. Located on the slopes of Mount Korebi, this, this resort offers gorgeous ventals, a variety of snow sports, untamed wilderness, Beautiful onsens. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We'll go for this one. Let's do it, gang. We are going to rent for five days. That is a lot of money. We're going to rent for four days. Still a lot of money. We're going to Japan. It's a long way to fly. Four days. Let's do this. <gasps> and we're here. I can order supplies. I kind of need a cot. That is kind of what I need. I do have a toddler. Like, they're like, no one would be stupid enough to bring their toddler on a mountain. So we ain't even going to give them an... Oh, they did. Practice potty. Nice. Oh. <gasps> Tiny top beds. Okay, brilliant. We'll take one of those too. And tiny top tails and a toy. Oh my gosh, we can just leave it on its own and it could just deal with itself. This is perfect. Did they do high chairs as well? <gasps> we brought the car. We brought the car. Okay, we'll bring them some toys for the car. This is where all the are expensive. Look how much more we've just had to add to it now. Wow. Okay. Boom. Ordered a bunch of stuff. It's all apparently in her inventory. Okay, dreamy. So let's go ahead and check out where we'll be staying for the next few episodes, gang along. Whilst also doing the challenge, don't worry. I've not forgotten about that. So we have this little vibey outdoor area here where you could just sit and chill. Cute, 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 cute. And then inside the house, should I do a tour? Should I put the roof up? Let's do a full tour. Let's pretend we are here ourselves. <gasps> oh, oh, it's so cute. <gasps> oh, wait, where's the mountain from where I am? Oh, the mountain's right there. <gasps> 
This is really cute. I like this. This is cute vibes. Okay, let's head inside our little onsen. It's not actually an onsen. It's just a rental, but it's near an onsen. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is really cool. Better be full. Not very vegan. Okay, so is this like a downstairs bathroom? It is. We've got a downstairs bathroom. <gasps> the toilet's separate because it's one of those cool ones that shoots water up your butt. Love that. Okay, and then this is like the main eating area. Beautiful sliding doors. That is one of those trim your own trees, a bonsai. We've got a little sitting, like if you want a regular table, there's one here. Little TV vibey area here. Little kitchen here. We've got all oh, little enclosed stairway. Okay, 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 okay. Let's check out this room real quick. So it's got the low table. There's a name for that. Kotatsu. A kotatsu is a low wooden table framed by futons on a heavy blanket. Underneath is a heat source, usually a charcoal boner. But... <laughs> No, not that. A charcoal burner. So this is a kotatsu. I'm so sorry if my pronunciation is bad. I can't pronounce English words either, so please note. So that is where you want to sit and eat, which I love. I've seen the animation for this already. The little blanket moves. It's really cool. This is, I guess, where you'd store like a bunch of stuff. And then what? Is this a sliding door too? No, this goes outside. Okay, nice. And there's also one here. Does that go outside as well? <gasps> Look, it's so Okay, we've got a little space heater. I love that. Okay, and then head upstairs into our little hallway. There's a little desky area here. There is a bedroom in here with a little space heater. Look at the little robe hung up on the wall. Cute. And then in here, we've got another bathroom. Oh, the girls have a room. Okay, dreamy. The girls have got a room together. Look at the little ski stuff hung up on the wall. Wait, that's, that's mountain climbing stuff hung up on the wall. Okay, love that. Love that for them. And then over here must be the final bedroom okay oh this might be the master actually okay that is probably the master that this was that has one less bedroom it doesn't actually have an ensuite but never mind i'm gonna have us separate from the kids so i'll put the toddler bed into here toddler can vibe out in here this is where you exist we will be snowboarding no i will at least try and look after the toddler although i'm not happy chris seems pretty into kids i'm sure he can look after it and then this is for polo i don't know if cats will play with ball but i brought it one anyway and oh there's a toddler book as well we'll put that up there okay Hey, there we go. How are you all feeling? Everyone's hungry. You know what? You know that feeling? Should we eat? Like, I think we should eat the food that is of this area, like Japanese vibes food. So let's do some on onigiri. No bed. You're gonna you're gonna wake up in the night, so I'm not gonna allow that. The kids are just so happy to have a nice TV. But you know when you get in from a flight and you have that horrible, like, sticky face feeling and, like, just general horrible feeling in your head? That is how I feel like everyone will feel right now. So I'm gonna get everyone some foodies before we go to bed so we wake up feeling refreshed and wonderful and amazing. And where is the toddler? Have we just... Oh, okay. We just left the toddler in the snow. We left Jasper outside to become Ice Jasper. I'm so sorry. You, you've you got to understand you are not part of this. Polo, however. Polo, what are you going to do? Polo, be careful. Be careful out here. You know, I don't know why you would bring a cat on holiday with you. But we did anyway. And I am really excited to explore all this tomorrow. <laughs> Use the katatsu. Look, see, see how she goes under the blankie? It's so cute. Oh, what? Is the toddler going to be able to get that as well? I need to stop calling Jasper the toddler. It's just not the way it's done. Okay, so watch underneath here. The like blankie like moves for them to put their legs under. That's cute, right? I thought so. Jasper's not eating with us. He knows. He knows. Oh, Jasper can't eat at the table, obviously. And there we go. So we just arrived, but we'll have our little meals here. I think we can cook using this going forward. Yeah, so we can do little hot pots. When we come in from the snow, and we're all cold. We can do a little hot pot meal. Yes! So cute. And then Kitty Winks, bedtime, 11 p.m. And we've got to do some exploring tomorrow. So everyone to bed. Chris, please, can you bring up Jasper? I was going to call it the toddler again. And go ahead and read Jasper to sleep, please. Chris is putting... Why is your... Why do my kids' hairs do this? <gasps> you don't have a litter tray. Oops. We're putting little Jasper to bed. He has got blonde hair, which is really annoying. How do I order more stuff? I forgot to order a kitty litter tray. I'm so sorry, Polo. Just poop in the snow. No one will ever know, okay? And our first night in our little cute snowy home. All ready to take on the slopes tomorrow. The nursery slopes. Got to start sensibly. Oh, and Scarlet is up first. Ready to explore the world. You're up at 4 a.m. I think half of it is probably, you know, when you can't sleep because of jet lag. But also, I kind of low-key feel like she's just so excited. So excited for her awesome holiday 
holiday vibes. Oh well, to kill that excitement, I've got her doing chores around the house. <laughs> What's the point of having kids if they're not gonna do chores, you know? Rose is up now. She's playing with this little doll she's found. Ooh, a moon panda toy. This toy was granted for the new lunar year, new lunar year of, hold it still, of the pig starting in February 2009. So this toy is based on the different lunar years, which is cool. I don't know where she got it from, but that's awesome. She is feeling a bit cold. So I'm gonna allow auto thermostats to switch on. Oh, look, it's pumping out heat. Oh, I can almost feel it through the screen. That feels cozy. Love that. Since you were up first, I will let you go ahead and see the festival schedule and also check the Daily Wildlife report. Make sure you put some warm clothes on that. Yes, because it looks really cold out there. Okay, look, she's also got this attention seeker from falling down. Scarlet totally did that on purpose. I feel like she's doing like a... Oh, she also hurt herself. She's doing a bunch of stuff that is making me feel like she might be... She might be generation material, you know? And here are all the runs. We've got two blacks, a uh, red, and two greens. And there are numerous festivals. Okay, the Festival of Light is held in the Senbamachi neighborhood every Friday. Well, today's Tuesday. The Festival of Snow is held in the Yukimatsu every Saturday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> okay, we're gonna miss every single one. They're Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The Festival of in Wakaba. No! There are no alerts for danger. What, dangerous wildlife? Oh, this woman just bowed to me. Oh, look at her doing the little the little thing. That's so good. I can't believe we've come on Tuesday and all the festivals are at the weekend. Oh, I can ask him for a capsule. Do a mountain move. I feel like you should love this because look, it's a big plushie. It's so freaking cute. Oh, everybody's up now. Maybe we can go and hit the slopes together since we're all up. Oh, no, wait. We can't just leave the toddler at home, can we? Okay, I feel like we should do this in days. Like, I'll go first and then we'll think about you tomorrow, Chris, okay? We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to make a little group of... Of myself, Rose, and Scarlett. I'll take the girls. The boys can stay at home, okay? Oh, look, she's getting a little selfie. Did you get a capsule? Rare Simi capsule. <gasps> What's in your capsule? <gasps> oh, a medieval grim. Oh my gosh, she just got something. It's a five star. Reaping Simpson stew in true medieval fashion. What is it? I gotta catch them all. What are they? I don't understand what it is, but I'm excited. A grim Simi. Grim Simi. Gotta catch them all. This is gonna be me for the whole holiday. <gasps> Scarlet got a loan of... Scarlet, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, I'm there like girls will get ready to organize the day. Scarlet is just off. Okay, she's doing it on her own. Um, Scarlet, babes, I did not say go and snowboard. You meant to wait for your sister. I also wanted to like ask you guys who should do snowboarding and who should do skiing. But I feel like Scarlet has already made up that decision for us. Sc and she's good. She didn't even fall over. What? You're motor level three now? Okay. Since you're so great at snowboarding, Scala, I guess you don't need our help. I guess we'll ski and Scala, you can snowboard. I've not forgotten that she wants to make a friend, so I'll keep my out for other kids. I think it'd be really cool if she could meet a local kid. <gasps> Such as this little dude here. Little, I uh, say dude because she's like, looks like a little snowboarder. Nanami. No way, there's a kid called Nanami? Woo! Sorry, I have a sim called Nanami from Japan, so that's really exciting. I'm gonna go introduce yourself. Forget ski at snowboard and go introduce yourself. She's doing a bow, a respectful introduction. <gasps> what? This is so cool. And oh, straight away, this girl's doing impressions. Oh, hopefully not doing impressions of tourists. That's so cute, though. I love that for her. Any more kids, and I'll try and add them together in a big group. Okay, where's where's Rosie? I want to see Rosie. Are you going to do some skiing, babes? Oh, apparently Minzy's going first. Okay, I've got to say her outfit looks absolutely adorable. Okay, that's good. Oh, okay. It's harder for adults. Their center of gravity is higher. Okay, it is harder to be an adult doing this. Oh, and Jasper's woken up miserable. Absolutely miserable. Oh, what? I thought I'd have to tell Chris to look after him, but Chris is all over it. Chris loves being a dad. And Rose, are you going to give it a go? I would love to see you do the slopes. Here we go. Okay, love your pink skis. You've got this, babes. You've got this. Go on. Down you go. Look at you, little speed demon. Nice. Hopefully you won't fall. Kids are just better. Kids are just so much better. However, I'm also worried everyone's getting a little bit cold. So, Chris, you put on one of those little hot pots. <gasps> Onden yosenebi or uh, sukiyaki. It's only lunchtime. Let's not go wild. Let's just do a simple one. <gasps> you make it together. No, wait, it's actually an activity. Oh, it brings them all home. Okay, it brings them all home to do an activity. That's fine. Hmm, I can't get this animation to work. I'll try it with just two people. 
Let just the adults do it? No, it won't work for me. No. Okay, let me see if I can just hot pot for one. Okay, I can do it for one. Will everyone still sit and eat? I don't know. Oh, and look. Scarlett's brought her little friend, Anami. I can't believe she's called Anami. Ah, uh, look at her cute little outfit. Can we all just go ahead and grab some foodies? Can you guys grab us a little food together? I can't ask her to grab a plate, which kind of sucks. But this food looks so yummy. She's like, yeah, I ain't eating that. <laughs> it's Oren's trying to make our food. I'm not eating that. Little Chris is looking after our new strangely blonde child, Jasper. Okay, I where I have been recording this for a really long time. The good thing is we're away now. We're on holiday. There is a bunch of stuff to do while we're here whilst also doing our challenge. So Minzy will have to get up to a whole bunch of mischief here in order to complete her chief of mischief aspiration. Also. Also, we're gonna keep playing with Scarlet and Rose. I kind of feel like I'm leaning towards Scarlet for the next generation of this, but I want to hear what you guys say in the comments below. Also, please let me know what you think of our little Jasper as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this. We will keep playing with the new pack and also with our whole big farms now, which was not in the rules. And I would like to see a festival here, so we might have to end up staying a little bit longer just to make sure we catch the festival, but we will make it to the top of the mountain and in the next episode as well. So if you're excited for that, don't forget to give this video a big cheeky thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another one. Bye.